Well, it's the morning after, and now we replace the storms and the humidity and the warmth with much cooler, windy, dry air. A really pretty winter day. All in all, we don't get out of the 50s. Still surveying some of the storm damage around the metro area, whether it was uprooted trees, Bartram Park Boulevard, near the Greenbrier area just off I-95, south of Baptist Medical Center South. In what may have been a tornado, it's unclear. The National Weather Service survey team may perhaps be out. Nonetheless, really windy uh, damage uh, to report from that area. We have crews that are continuing to survey some of the uh, tree damage and property damage as well. Thankfully, throughout the metro area, no reported injuries or fatalities throughout the duration of the event. A disruption, yes, uh, especially with schools that uh, were closed for the day or that extended break that happened. Everything is now back to normal and we await our next storm system. Chief Meteorologist Mike S uh, Burrish says it could arrive as early as Friday. We're timing it out for you and if it'll be as strong and maybe even severe as what we just saw yesterday. The other big story that we're following today is Mayport based USS Mason is part of a group of US and British. Uh, carriers that are part of a pretty significant response to Yemen-backed Houthi rebels in the Red Sea in what looks like the largest attack so far on commercial shipping and commercial vessels. Uh, as of this recording, no damage, no injuries to report, thankfully, uh, but it's just a continuing escalation and we have skin in the game locally with USS Mason and USS Kearney uh, in the area of operation there and they, they continue to fight off some of these attacks by the Houthi rebels We'll continue to update the story in real time throughout Jacksonville's morning news. Also developing from the overnight hours, new from Jacksonville's south side, a fight escalates uh, to one person dead and another injured uh, in the south side near Providence School off uh, Hodges near Beach Boulevard. We're continuing to update this developing story throughout Jacksonville's morning news. Big uh, stories developing in You Decide 2024 as former President Trump having his first live Q&A session on Fox News Channel from Iowa uh, just days ahead of the caucuses while Governor DeSantis and former South Carolina Governor, former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley go at it on CNN in Iowa. We're all over these stories and more throughout Jacksonville's morning news live until 10 on 104.5.